flow of ideas happens when you start. So don't just sit around and wait for them. Even if you have nothing to film, just pick up the camera and, and get going and you'd be surprised what could happen. You picking up on it? Oh, and on YouTube. I'm gonna start vlogging right now because we're watching, what's his name? Peter McKinnon. He just told me to pick up the camera. Just pick up the camera and just start recording and see what the day gives me. But it's like 10.15 right now, so the day's pretty much over. See you tomorrow. My cousin actually let me borrow his camera. It is a Panasonic Lumix. I don't know what the exact model is, but the SD card ran out of memory. But yeah, that was a fail. Starting off the morning with the breakfast that I had in my last day of eating video uh, with the sausage and spinach, egg whites, three whole eggs. I'll post the macros on the screen. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different, but actually, hold on real quick, hold on. We will be reestablishing my macro count. And Sam is gonna help us do that by explaining the purpose of each macro. So this video will probably be a little bit lengthy and instead of having you guys watch and sit in suspense throughout the whole video, I will be putting timestamps at the description just to break it down. So instead if you don't really wanna, if you just get annoyed of me and you don't even wanna watch the whole other stuff, go ahead down, downstairs. In the description, click the timestamp. I just wanna go see what carbs are for. I wanna see what fats are for. I wanna see what protein's for. I wanna just see what the workout is gonna be. So I'll see you guys at the gym. Just got out of Best Buy, ended up cashing out on an SD card, an SD card reader, came out to like 60 bucks. And I don't know if you noticed, the air is hella smoggy. I am actually located in Northern California. So as you can, as you know, the fires that are going on in California, up in Paradise, and then down south uh, by LA or something. So we're, we're the Bay Area is pretty much gathering up all the smog right now. And they say like breathing this air is equivalent to smoking like 11 cigarettes. But yeah, God bless them. I'm actually looking into, me and my friends are actually looking into helping out sometime in December because I'm so busy with school right now. Uh, I do have two weeks off of work, so I'm looking to invest some time into donating, helping out up north, seeing what I can do. But yeah, uh, we're about to go head out to the gym. I don't know if you guys remember my other video. Well, I actually worked out at the Old Cuts Fitness with Sam, and Sam was talking about how they're opening up a new gym. Well, this is the new gym. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is he training someone right now? It smells pretty good in here. Compared to the air out here, that smog is crazy. That's probably not a good idea. I'm about to have a protein bar. Just watch me eat it. Watch me love it. Mm. This is the best flavor. Took you know. I just can't get enough of Costco's protein bars. So as I mentioned earlier this morning, we are actually gonna reestablish how much macros I should be intaking as far as bulking or just in general. So I'm here with Sam, Coach Sam, I should say. Uh, energy in is energy out, all right? So we're gonna start out with Francis's uh, body weight. He says he weighs around 190, he's not too sure, but we're just gonna use 190. Now, the hardest part that you guys are gonna have to figure out is your body fat percentage. I'm gonna take a guess, an educated guess, and say Francis is around 15% body fat, okay, and that's just being safe. Now you just take your body weight and you times it by 0.15. Now that 15 is the 15% of body fat. Just times that, it's gonna give you this number, and that's how many pounds of fat that you have on your body. You take your pounds of fat, and you, and you take your uh, body weight, and you minus that, and that's gonna give you this number right here. Now, whatever that number comes out to, 161 for Francis, that's his lean body mass. Now, very simple. You're gonna cross this out right there, that decimal in that last point, and you're just gonna add a zero. And that's gonna give you your kilo calories, your BMI, your basal metabolic intake, okay? Now this, right here is calories. This is how many calories Francis needs 
to just stay alive every day. So Francis was in a coma, laying in a hospital bed. God forbid if that should ever happen. Oh, cross my fingers. So if that ever happens, this is how many calories he needs to intake just for his body to function. Now we're gonna plug that number into your BM right here, your basal metabolic, okay? So your kilo calories that you just came out with, you're gonna plug it right into there. Times it by 0.7. So we're taking Francis's BM, and we're times it by 0.7, okay? 0.7, right here, or you did it for you, you're gonna get 1,127, okay? Now, you're gonna take that number, and you're gonna add it to your BM, okay? So you're gonna take your BM again, and add it, boom. Add it to your BM, it's gonna give you 2,737 calories. So this is how many calories Francis needs pretty much to just maintain, stay at a super healthy weight. Anyways, now we're gonna go ahead and break down. I get a lot of people asking me, um, how much macronutrients should I be intaking? And me personally, I'm like, I, too, honestly, I can't even tell you. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna break down protein. E, protein. I, e. I before E, except after C. Francis weighs around uh, 190. So Francis needs to intake 190 grams of protein per day. Pro athletes should be intaking one gram of protein per day. If you're not a pro athlete, you should be taking zero, you could do this, 0 0.8 times your body weight. Okay, and then that will give you your protein grams for the day. Now, because he's in a bulk, we're gonna keep his fat percentage very low, okay? So, when you're bulking, you want a majority of your uh, energy to come from carbohydrates. So we're gonna keep his fat low at 20%. Now, after you have those calories left over, and you've plugged all this in, whatever grams or calories are left over, just turn that into carbs. Now Francis says, hey Sam, I wanna bulk, I wanna gain some muscle, I wanna get big for the beaches. You're gonna take this, kilo calories, and you're gonna add 300 calories to that. Boom, very easy. Bam. Addition, subtraction, division, it's all there. Certified Asian. What? Oh, whoever sat through this, I'm, I'm happy for you. That means mean you really wanna get somewhere. Education is knowledge, folks, okay? Remember that. I don't want to make this a competition. Is this a competition, bro? It's not a competition. Is it a competition, bro? We're friends. It's not We're a competition. Not. Okay, so yeah, the, mo the workout I've been talking about and I've been mentioning, it's uh, a 1,000 push-ups. See, I did, I don't know if you guys watched, the ones who've watched the video with NIE, where I collaborated arms with her, the day before that, I actually did 700 push-ups with my boy Edler, which next year we'll be coming out with a video together as well. Um, he made me do 700 push-ups on top of that, did 100, 120 pull-ups, and then after that made me do additional 100 reps of dips, body weight dips. So today, Sam comes up to me, I actually come up to him and ask him to help me out with this video, and then he comes back with, Dude, fuck it, let's go ahead and do a thousand push-ups on the same day. We are gonna do it, we're not attempting, we're gonna finish it, um, cause I believe in us oh so dearly, and yeah, so. For the fourth take, I just switched off the camera because the camera's battery was dying and now I'm back on the phone. Okay, so now we're marking things down on the board. 20 sets of 50 to reach 1,000. We were doing 20 sets of 50? Dude, I'm, I don't know, man. I'm starting to feel it a little bit. I'm only on like, dude, 150, <laughs> but fuck, dude. Yeah. What if I tore a peck? Like, how bad would that be? Hey, bro, how'd you tear your peck?
agreed. We we're gonna switch it up. We've hit that many push-ups right now. We're gonna probably switch it up to 25 reps and take shorter break times because this is no joke. I was so confident in the first 50 and now I'm a weak ass. <laughs> A little bit more than half. Um, dude, what the hell? All the brain went from our, all the blood went from our brain to our So we knocked out, we knocked. 250 plus 350 right there. But we did 600 total. Yep, 600. So, which is more than halfway. 400 so. left. I'm on the black ass turf because I like how firm it is. Two more sets of 25 reps. Will we finish it? Will we take it home? I'm gonna quit on one set. What? Because I'm a quitter. Yeah. What do quitters do? They quit. And you know why quitters quit? Because they're quitters. Thousand mother AF push ups done in within two hours. Puha. El Pornhub. El Pornhub. Oh. I feel, I feel good. I feel good. Oh, no. How do you feel? I'm pumped. Oh, well, that was good. That was a good workout. Wait, 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 wait. Let me no? zoom out. Okay. Slap hands. Yeah. Wait, slap transition on the camera. Slap That's... transition. Oh, wait. wait. One, two, three. No, but I got to slap. Oh, those. okay. One, <laughs> two, two, three. three. So I'm back at home now, finished with a thousand rep push-up challenge, and I'm actually eating two tilapia sticks with eight ounces of rice. Um, so pretty much all I had was a high protein, high protein breakfast, sausage, eggs, egg whites. Then I had a protein bar, just one banana. I think this vlog has run on too long as it is. I'm just gonna be here eating my meal with my pops. Hey dad. Hey dad. Yeah. Can you say bye? Can you tell him say bye? Bye.